There we go. Hello, welcome to an exciting thing that we're doing. Um, let's see if we can get out the door. Urgh. Alright, uh, let's turn off the lights. Here. that up. Put that behind the, there. Let's make sure I got the keys and lock it up properly. Okay, let's go over here. There. Now, I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna walk out to the beach. Let's see, do you wanna go out that way or just go through this way? We're gonna go through this way. I think, oops, come on. Not sure if I'm in the right mode for this exactly, but we're trying it out. Got the camera on a huge selfie stick attached to my waist and with a big old gimbal. It's pretty cool. Right, let's come out. Let's go this way and look out the front. Maybe. Okay, now we're looking out forwards. Unfortunately, the angle doesn't exactly like to uh, turn around straight off. Um, but we're out in Morro Bay. We'll see how, this is gonna be really bouncy because it's bouncing off my hips. Um, have to figure that out for walking. All right. I think it's it's kind of realistic. Let's see, am I in the? I think I want to be in this mode. Maybe. Let's see. Pan follow. Or this is now follow mode. So maybe not follow mode. Or do you stick it back up to pan follow? Or there's lock. Let's do lock. So now I think it should stay locked in that forward position. Um, no, I need to. Uh, let's see. Make this a bit darker, maybe. I don't know if it's actually going to work since it's auto ISO. There. Oh, uh, nope, it's getting the vignette there. There we go. So that'll do. Uh, I think this is a good way to do it. This is a setup I'm going to be using for car shows. Um, of course, I haven't shown you what the setup is, but uh, I got the... Weeble Zion on my on the camera or the camera on the Weeble Zion 2 and or the Zion Weeble 2 I should say and then that attached to a rod and the shoulder strap in the between and the rod attached to my waist to provide something I don't know but I think this is pretty cool. Whoa, let's be very careful because this is not... Uh, 
I'm pushing it to the extremes with the angles that I'm trying to make it run at. I think anyways. Uh, let's go over this way. Uh, let's see. Here. Definitely have to figure out some way to make the walking on this smoother, but I don't think that's gonna be really a thing. I don't know, can I, I do the walk? Heel, toes, heel, or just the toes? I don't know. Uh, motor rock. And we've got a wood, or a uh, log house, driftwood fort that somebody has put together here. Let's see what we can do cinematically. This will be how I do my car shows in the future. See how it goes. It's of course our practice shoot. To work on the joystick because it goes no matter what angle um, it's at it's always going to be the same direction so I have to adjust my movements for the angle to maintain the proper thing oh, yeah, let's see uh, since I don't have a zoom on here but uh, there's some horses Maybe we'll go over by the horses. No, I don't think we'll bother the horses. We'll just continue over this way. Ooh. You gotta kind of lean down. It's not the easiest thing. <laughs> I don't know. I have to work on the low angle for this. I should have properly smoked a bowl before heading out. But I'll do that here in a moment. Oh man, I can smell the, the salt air and the seaweed, and the rotting fish. Oh, the wonderful smell of rotting fish. You know you love it if you grew up at the ocean. Oh, that's cool. This over here is it's got the it's a pillar or it's a pier pier log. Oh, that got washed up broken off of something and washed up here. Crazy. But I think we need to smoke a bowl, so we're gonna turn around. Turn all the way around. There we go. Pull the camera back around, or the screen back around. And see, there is a Get an idea of what we got going on. Look straight down, everything. I should put my phone over on the side for a camera. 
for the uh, monitor, but I'm not doing that. We're gonna smoke a bowl. Cheers. Of course, right as the wind comes up, fail. Need the wind to die down so we can medicate properly and fully. Oh, come on, wind. There we go. Almost. Yeah, lighter's a little bit low. There we go. I love smoking on the beach. It's fun. It's a good time. Nobody cares. <laughs> I'll find it amusing. Of course, I'm drawing attention to myself anyways with this monstrosity hanging off of me. <laughs> Professional vlogger. Yeah, that's me, all right. Professional vlogger. <laughs> I wish. Millions of viewers. Now, someday I'll have more viewers. Slowly but surely building. Getting 777, I'm proud of that. So let's, where is he? Let's get a little closer up to the ocean, I think. Right. Camping in Morro Bay, so it's been pretty nice. It's good to get stuff done. Be plugged into power for a change and you know, running the dishwasher all night long and running the computer, getting videos edited and uploaded. Um, not able to do very often because I don't usually have power in the evenings. Oh man, lots of, wow, so many sand dollars. Okay, we're gonna turn back around so you can look at the sand dollars. Slowly around, sit down, Let's flip the screen, oh, the screen this way, or that's not going to even work at all that way anyways, either. Yep, definitely got to set the monitor. Okay, here we go. Let's change my zoom. Look at all the sand dollars. I have never seen so many sand dollars on the beach. <laughs> wow. I mean, if the if sand dollars could be changed into real dollars, there would. I could become a millionaire on this beach, <laughs> I think. All my life would be satisfied if I could turn each one of these into a real dollar. Ouch. And all these sailors. Wave top sailor thingies dry up, wash up. Loaders. Right. Uh, beautiful Moro rock. Whoop, too fast. Okay. There. There's the rock. Ain't that just picturesque? Video esque. <laughs> Let's get over to the sunset because it's coming on down. It's just an absurd amount of sand dollars. Like, man. I, I mean, 
I did not think this many sand dollars could exist. I mean, and that's the other thing is, these are creatures. This is life that's been lost, washed up. I don't know if that's a normal thing this time of year, or if that's um, this amount of sand dollars washing up dead is uh, climate change problems. Either way, I'm thinking this is a very clever idea for being able to walk around the camera on the gimbal and since I'm on the cane always. should watch out because here comes the water perfect oh that was a good must have been a good shot if it's stable enough and if I didn't talk it's funny in the old family movies uh, telling my grandfather that the cameraman's not supposed to talk and <laughs> what does society become cameraman talking Everybody's talking to the camera. <laughs> but it is. It's fun. It's cool. And there goes the sunset. Not the best lens for um, getting close to the sunset, but that's not important, really. No, other way. The rock. Up, up. Over, not this way. So there's no going sideways completely. Right. Oh, well, we're having fun with it. Right? That's what's important, is that we have fun. So it's kind of bad on my back. I'm bending over. <laughs> oh. They say lift with your knees, not with your back. Well, my back is the uh, the fulcrum. Yeah, if I chose to go without the strap and just hand holding it, holding it up wherever I need to go, then it wouldn't be so bad. But to be able to go freehand, might as having the strap is good, or is necessary, excuse me. Oh, okay, we're sinking in the, uh, in the sand a little bit. Yeah, you're struggling at that angle. You'd think it would be able to handle the low slung angles a little bit better because it's designed to do that. It's and it's meant to be used low slung also. And it's down low, but then it starts freaking out.
I don't want to put this on my stomach, which might give less bounce than my hip is. But I don't think it would be I think it would be a worse angle wise for things. Come back back around to me. To me, to me, to me. Up and oh yeah. Screen out. There we go. Up. Oh and zoom back out. And adjust. Not that way. This way. Maybe. I don't know. The ISO doesn't seem to be uh, adjusting very quickly. <laughs> or at all. Or maybe it is. It's just bad lighting. <laughs> really bad lighting. Yeah, it's just really bad lighting. So we're gonna head back to camp and start cooking dinner. Cause that's the things we do. Now that I've got some dishes done. I don't know. Oh, just, just so many sand dollars. So, so, so many. And it looks like the seagulls are trying to pluck out a few little bits. Oh, um, hmm. Arch. Yeah, this isn't entirely easy on my back either because it's putting a lot of weight forward on my back. Um, and seagulls fight all the time. You know what? When one seagull chases another off, I'm gonna chase it down. Chase you all down, actually. Let's see, come on. Done my civic duty of chasing seagulls. Oh, I'm not sure. Okay, this is the way. I figure out how to get back to camp. Oh, ow. Yeah. The uh, car shows are going to be fun doing this. They already kill me from just walking, um, but I don't know. It's all worth it when I, if I actually edit the videos. And with this, doing a little bit more better. And if I can get a campsite afterwards, that might be things planned to get. Uh, plug in campsites after the car shows, but of course that means Morro Bay, not Pismo. I mean, well, of course Morro Bay has its car show too, but the Pismo um, Father's Day weekend, I think it is, um, car show is the best one. Morro Bay is good. And I think it's either Morro Bay or Cayucas that's my birthday. Um, which I guess I will be going to that. And if that is the case that weekend, then that'd be a good time to get a campsite and then spend the evening editing video. Hopefully not actually on my birthday. Is <laughs> I don't, I'd rather enjoy my birthday other ways than just editing video. It won't be too bad. 
kind of a shame there were no clouds in the sky tonight. We've, ha we've had a lot of stormy weather lately and it's been great cloud cover, but I haven't been able to get out. Um, I haven't been in locations where I can get out to shoot. Um, and just as, I, cause just as I was starting to feel better and getting to the point where I was gonna be able to go back outside Spend some time out on at Pismo, get back up to the pier, do some more uh, surf photography, etc. They decided to start cracking down and booted everybody out, or forcing the overnight parking and the oversized vehicle bans. So, making Pismo Pier completely inaccessible to me as a person on disability. Wow, there's a uh, airplane trails, not chemtrails, um, condensation trails going up. Uh, it's hitting the sunset and so it's illuminated bright pink. Um, this lens wouldn't show it. So I'm not even gonna bother trying. <laughs> it would not do it justice. This lens is a meant for vlogging like this, these close, closer ranges, um, rather than looking up at objects in the sky. That are straight overhead. That'll send me into a seizure if I look at it too long, if I look up. Yeah, that's fun. Not really. Nope, nope. None of it is fun. But, uh, <laughs> of course, it's one other problem with doing vlogs like this is I'm not taking any pictures. Um, I took zero photos on that walk. Uh, and granted, it wasn't the best, but I probably could have gotten some shots uh, getting down close on some of the um, sand dollars at the sunset, but uh, I didn't. I got video and maybe I can pull a few screenshots out. Um, won't quite be, um, yeah, I'll go in through the front. Won't quite be as high quality but it'll still be good. It's like we might run out of, we got one minute to get back to the campsite before the video cuts off. So we'll see if we get back there in time. I don't think it's gonna happen. But this has been a good walk. It was fun, it was a good test out of this contraption. It's gonna be great. Maybe I'll do some walking reading some days. That'll be interesting. But I guess we're about to finish, so I will catch you guys. And I got 20 seconds. Um, see you all later. Catch you on the flip side. May the chaos of your existence be beneficial. A few more, a little bit longer. And three, two, one, now three, two.